Hello, everybody. It is Thursday, November 12th, 2020. It's a great day here to be a junior potter. I hope you're having a great day, too, there um, at home, wherever you are at. Um, first off, bell ringer, answer them up. We got some more facts, and you got to match them up with the correct things there. Um, if you did not check out my video on Tuesday of how to turn it into a GIF and submit it, there is a video up there now. There is a newly added post that says uploaded final GIF for you to attach your picture to. And then you can also submit your slideshow as the other part of the assignment. I've made two assignments part of it just because you can't upload things when I already had the slides going. So I had to create another one just for the GIF itself. So um, you'll want the uploaded GIF part of the assignment um, going forward there. Um, we're doing some more mitosis review kind of stuff happening in class. We'll do a little, probably do a little gim kit or so uh, in there. And then what we're going to do today and tomorrow, we're doing a microscope activity, which in order to do our microscope activity, we have to share with the white team. So actually Thursday, the white team has the microscopes first. We get them second, which means we'll get them tomorrow for Friday. So the alternative that we're going to look at is that we found a website that has some internet or some microscope pictures of mitosis, and it has a little interactive um, part for us to do with it. So that's what we're going to do. We're actually going to click on the mitosis internet activity part B. So if you go to Schoology, which let me bring it up. Here is Schoology uh, for today. There's your bell ringer, make sure you answer that, but you want this microscope slash internet mitosis. That's what we're working on today. I'm going to click on that and bring it up here. We already got another window, so I'm just going to bring that right over here with it. Load it up. There we go. Uh, we got our microscope mitosis activity. So we're going to start off with part A, or not part A. This is part A at the very beginning, the actual microscope activity. We're going to scroll down to slide number 10, where we are going to have the internet mitosis activity day B happening. And it's the last six slides that are on there. Um, and here's your instructions. You're going to click on the online root tip activity, which is right at the top. It'll open up a new web page, um, which is this. So you'll be able to have the slides going and having this website open at the same time. You're going to read the introduction and answer a few questions on the introduction slide. So here's the introduction questions. Here is the introduction. You're going to read through these three paragraphs, and there's two questions for you to answer. Um, basically, why we're looking at a root instead of something else, and what do we have to do to get these cells to be prepped this way? Um, so kind of a little bit of a, almost like a pre-lab sort of with it. Um, but there's two questions to answer up there. The first one has two things, so make sure that you're answering two things about it. Um, the next thing is that you're going to read through the information about the five phases of mitosis. So when you're done with the first set of questions, there's this next button. You hit next. It then goes over our five phases of mitosis once again. It's always nice to review. So you're going to read how they present it on this website um, to see what things match up, what things we've been talking about similarly. Um, but you'll get it in a different way. You'll, you'll get maybe some different ways of how they phrase it. So... Kind of read through it, see what things are on there. And we've got five questions for you to answer. Probably going to be one question per phase, but I picked out specific things that they mentioned differently than how we talked about them. Um, so they use a little bit of a different lingo. So it's, it's looking at the same facts that we've been doing, but how do they phrase it differently than how we've phrased it? Um, is what we're getting at with that one. When you're done with those five questions, you'll hit next. And this is the actual part of the um, activity. You're going to be, as it says here, we're on step four. You're going to be reading the information about what we're doing in the assignment. You're going to go to the data table slide, which is this one down here, the data table. And look, it's the same kind of data table that is on here. So you need to read through these instructions in order to know what you're doing with this data table. So what is happening is that you're going to be presented with a bunch of pictures of cells. And the cells are going to be based off of how many times 
a cell would be in this phase during a 24 hour period. Um, so you just click on next and you're going to get a little tiny picture. Now the pictures are kind of tiny, um, but you'll be able to blow them up on your screen. You'll be able to see them a little bit easier than even they are in the video here. But what you're going to do is just try to figure out what phase it is. And you just click on the phase. So let's say you think this is an interphase. If you get it wrong, it tells you why you get it wrong. So read why you're getting it wrong. And you'll hit try again. Say it's metaphase. Hey, you're correct. It'll drop it into that category. And then it gives you a new picture right up here. You keep on answering them. As you answer them, it's going to drop that cell into the categories. You're going to have 36 of these. So by the end, you're going to have 36 of them. At that point, you're going to count how many of each type of cells appears in interphase, prophase, metaphase, anaphase, telophase. So if there was like 13 interphases, you'll put 13. If there ended up being, I don't know, 15 prophases, you'll put 15 in there. You just count up the number at the very end that you get, and then you'll be calculating the percentage. And what the percentage is, is how long it takes to go through this part of the cycle of through mitosis. Um, so how to do that, you pick whatever number, let's say we had 15 interfaces. You take 15, you divide it by 36. That is going to get you some kind of decimal to get it into percentage. You times it by 100 and you end up getting like 56% whatever it is. You can round it to the nearest whole number, so you don't need any decimals as you're doing that. Um, round it to everything, but make sure you do the division first, then multiplying. Do not put it all straight up into a calculator because it's, it's not going to do it in the correct fashion. Um, so I give you a little example down there involving five prophase cells out of 36 total cells there. Um, and it's all right if your percentages don't add up exactly to 100 because we're rounding. So I think it might come out to be like 101 or 102, depending on how well you're rounding things. That is okay. That's just what happens because we're rounding things. Um, that's why I went ahead and put 100% down on there so you don't have to worry about that. There is then some after activity questions for you to answer. There's four things to answer up. So you'll answer those four things about our activity and then we have one last review type activity involving our stages of mitosis um, all you have to do is if this statement involves interphase you put an i for interphase if it involves telophase you'll put a t for telophase if it involves uh, anaphase you'll put an a for it you'll use each option twice on there so this is just a nice little review of making sure that we're all squared away with how things are going to be working. Now, you don't want to submit it yet because we still have to do part A. Part A will be a part of tomorrow's video, but you should be able to finish those four parts of these slides um, and be able to be ready to go with our microscope stuff tomorrow. So with that being said, I hope you're being safe, staying well out there, and I will see you later.